is dotted with small islands, almost exclusively populated by fishing communities. They tend to be overcrowded and often lacking in basic services, but perhaps none more so than Megingo Island. It's only about 2,000 square meters in size, tiny, but it's at the center of a big diplomatic dispute between neighbors Kenya and Uganda. They disagree on which side of the lake boundary it lies. And until the dispute is settled, Megingo is under the administration of police officers from both countries. This is what they're policing. Little more than a rock, with a maze of corrugated iron shacks, separated by steep and narrow paths. In these parts, though, it's not what's on the land that counts, but what's in the water. While much of Lake Victoria is struggling with depleted fish stocks, the deep waters surrounding Megingo are still teeming with the lake's equivalent of gold, Nile perch. The reason I am here is money. There is money in these waters. You can go into the water and in a second you can make a hundred dollars. Yet, with all that money, there are few places to spend it. My money? We misuse money here. Firstly, there are bars. You go to the bars and you take a beer. And then there are women. We young men like to have fun. But there are limited ways of having fun here. There are 300 men on this island and just about 20 women. And when they see a man with money, they'll go for him. The Kennedy stats are far from scientific. There are noticeably fewer women here than men. Most are employed in the fish trade, sex work, bars and catering. My name is Abias. I work in a bar. I'm 21 years old. I come from Uganda and I came to Migingo to earn a living. The island has few amenities, no hospital or doctor, but it does have one pharmacist. His customers invariably are looking for the same type of medication. I came here from Homa Bay County. I'm treating various illnesses here, like malaria, typhoid and gonorrhea. Typhoid. Our time and passage through Megingo were limited, and no one we met was willing to comment on the diplomatic tensions. Megingo's political future is uncertain. But so long as there is fish, there is money. And so its residents are here to stay. A shanty town on the lake. Lindim Tongana, CGTN, Megingo, Kenya.